Hello everybody, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Riley. You may know me as Honey Rags. I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and I sell vintage on Etsy. I'm gonna try to do a really quick haul. I always tell you guys my hauls are gonna be quick and I'm gonna try to get through them quickly, but this one I really, I'm gonna try to wrap up without going on and on and on about the same like five pieces of clothing that I always have to tell you guys about. So this first piece here is actually a bins find. Um, it's a probably later 19, mid to later 1970s, um, cardigan top. I don't, this wouldn't really have been called a cardigan, but, um, so this actually has the ladder stitching, which is how I'm dating it. Um, it's definitely, probably, definitely, probably not pre 19, mid 1970s. Um, I picked this up because I really liked the scalloped edges down here and it was at the bins I'll probably put $20 on this it'll go cute with like a 1970s dress look uh this is one girl who which is I think an anthropology brand this is a cashmere blend sweater um I also picked this one up at the bins it's in pretty good condition there's a couple of spots that I could probably try to get out that I just now realized underneath the bright light but I think I'll list this one around 25 because it does have that cashmere blend this is a moth which is a solid seller for me. This is actually a duster cardigan. So really nice, long emerald green. Um, moth sells well for me. This is my first time finding a piece that isn't just like a basic sweater cardigan. So I think I'll list this one closer to like 27, 28. This is a We The Free by Free People. A nice big puffer vest. So I think I will list this one around 25 to 30. It's in really nice condition. This is a vintage single stitch hard rock cafe tijuana top um and it has this graphic on the back i don't know what i'm going to list this one for yet probably not much i looked up comps it seems to be around like 25 to 30 dollars this is a new with tags at veronica beard which is my first time finding the brand um i don't know what it retailed for because it doesn't say uh but this is just a cute little button-up blouse i think i'll list this around 30 because it is new with tags this one is really cool. So this is a Kavu, which are known for their bags, their slingback backpacks, but they also make clothing and their clothing sells pretty consistent, consistently for me as well. This is a really cool dyed pair of overalls with the classic Kavu straps that you'd normally find on their bags. I, I don't know what I'm gonna list this for yet. I wanna look up comps. This is a Madewell wool blend color block sweater. I can't go wrong with Madewell sweaters, honestly. Um, they get bundled together on Poshmark pretty often. I think I will list this one around 28 because it is wool. This is a soft surroundings, um, newer label soft surroundings, cotton blouse. Soft surroundings is just one of my personal bread and butter brands. I know a lot of people leave them behind. I pick them up and sell them between 18 and $25 pretty consistently. Sometimes I'll go lower, but um, I, I just like selling them. They get you know, they have their little loyal um, array of customers, I guess you could say. Okay, so this is Intimately by Free People. This is a really cute little, um, I guess you could call this like a little lingerie tank with a knot in the back. I don't know what I'm going to list this for yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be around 20. This is a Matilda Jane tank top. Matilda Jane, also their patterns, um, like any other brand known for their patterns, like Bowdoin and Lily Pulitzer, sells well for me. I think I'm going to list this piece around, around 18. Um, it was $2.99 and it was half off day. So I got it for $1.50. This is an All Saints tunic tank. Um, so nothing too special, but I'm not going to pass up on All Saints. Uh, probably list this around 23. This is an Eileen Fisher. What is this? Probably a linen blend. Let's find out. <laughs> Guess we won't be finding out today. Um. Anyway, uh, Eileen Fisher, it's a newer label. Almost always a pickup for me, unless it's just a plain basic colored top. I know this is a plain basic colored top, but like, if you guys could understand what I mean by that. Like, it's not just like a pullover t-shirt, you know what I mean? So this is um a Bowden tunic, or possibly a mini dress, actually. I found two of them. They're the exact same style, but different color. I've sold the blue one before. I sold this exact same one. I probably around like 24 so that's what I will list both of these pieces at this time this is my first time finding plume and thread um really cute little dress though reminds me of Van Gogh with the um 
the strokes of the pattern here. Don't know what I'm going to list this for yet, but it is a decent brand to pick up. This I found at the bins. This is just like a Y2K fruit. This is actually like a sleeper dress, but fruit pattern stuff just sells really well for me. I mean, obviously, look how cute this is. Just reminds me of like a little picnic blanket. Probably list this one around 24. This is cool. This is a 1970s thermal. Um, and it says, my heart, wait, I'm saving my heart for you. How cute is this? I mean, just very kitschy. Looks like a butt, but I think it's, it's like, it looks like a butt with like a dog face, but it's definitely supposed to be a dog. I'm really so immature. <laughs> This is a Title IX, uh, kind of like, I guess I could call this like a scuba dress. The material is very scuba-y, but I am going to look up the style on this before I list it. Um, this is LOLE, which is a brand that I find quite a bit. Um, I pick it up sometimes, leave it behind sometimes, but this was only $3.99 and it was also half off. Um, it's a nice pullover and it's like a fleece, so I don't know what I'm going to list that for yet. Probably just around 22 I found that Bob Marie wearable art I find all the time. I've only sold one of their pieces and I think it was the only thing that I've ever picked up. Um, I think they were popular like in the 80s, 90s. This is a really cool jacket and I picked it up because of these really awesome elephants. And there's one big elephant on the back. Probably going to list this around 28 because of those elephants. This is a horny toad, which is now known as Toad & Co. Um, but I really like the pattern of this. So even though it is a little bit older because it's horny toad, not toad and co, um, I'll probably list this one around 22. People do look for the difference um, between horny toad and toad and co, even though they're the same company I've noticed. Just seems like toad and co sells quicker for me. Um, obviously the same quality though. So this is a Via Spiga jacket. So I, I pass on, I found a pretty penny worth of via spiga jackets of all things and shoes but i usually leave them behind this one however is in really nice condition and it's more of like a duffel coat trench it's just really nice um feels like it's brand new so i'll list this one around probably 40 this is a soft surroundings velvet velour whatever you want to call it piece um velour always sells well for me soft surroundings good combination this is a Prana cardigan um, with an open front. It's kind of got a slouchy fit. I'll probably list this around 25. This is a Diletta, which I think is also, I don't think, I know Anthropology has Diletta. I don't know if it's Anthropology exclusive. Um, so this is a like metallic brown, metallic beige cowl neck pullover top. I'll probably list around 20. I have this Cull cowl neck pullover. Cull K U H L. If they're missing the pull tag, you can usually look in the back somewhere and find. Well, you guys are going to think I'm just a big fat ass liar because it's not here. Usually you can look in the back and find um, a little cull like emblem. I can't really explain it, but I think I have another cull piece I can show you guys. It's just this little shield looking thing, but usually you find it in the back. Um, this is another, oh man, I have a lot of soft surroundings. This is a nice soft surroundings, cold shoulder blouse, probably list around 22. Matilda Jane, can't go wrong with some nice stripes and the color block pockets, probably list around 20. Russ Barons. So Russ Barons, Malibu, um, I think I've only sold Russ Barons one time, but I've only found it like one time. So it's a... Uh, I think it's comparable to like Eileen Fisher and what's the other one? Bryn Walker. Bryn Walker. Oh my God. I had to stop the entire video because I was not going to let that one go. It is comparable to Bryn Walker. I don't know how. I just know in my head that that's where, that's what I compare it to in my head. Okay. Southern Tide. This is actually a woman's blouse. I've only found Southern Tide men's and it sells quickly for me around 20 to 25 so you know don't expect too much out of it but it's a nice consistent seller you know consistency to me is sometimes I I don't know how I want to word this because some of you are going to take this wrong consistency to me is more important than value if it you know I can I found Versace I found Chanel I found Miu Miu that is you know valuable but the you know it doesn't sell consistently at that ticket price that you want it to. Whereas things like, you know, Southern Tide, um, Matilda Jane, Soft Surroundings, 
things that move quickly for me personally. And I don't know if it's just like my clientele that it moves quickly for, but you know, consistency is more important to me um, in some aspects than value. So this is a Title IX pullover sweater. These sell for me around $20. I don't, you know, I'm not going to be greedy. Put 20 bucks on them and move on. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is a Mountain Hardware top. So this is their newer label. Mountain Hardware is still a consistent seller for me. Um, however, I, I have been sitting on some of their pieces. I don't know if it's the sizing or the colors or what. This one's a pretty basic button up, but I think it'll move around 20 this is a diesel jacket. So it was kind of hard for me to see what brand this was at first, but it's diesel. Um, this is probably about 10 years old. However, diesel, it's still a good brand to pick up. This is like a canvas, almost like a surplus style jacket. I think I'm going to list this one around 35. This is a Hudson dark wash denim jacket. Good find because it was $3.99 and it was 50% off. So good find. I think I'm going to list this around $25 to $30, but I do want to look up comps first, which is something I haven't done. You guys would be so proud of me. I'm trying to get picky, which is something that I've been working on for a long time. Um, I'm, you know, I've made videos about quality or quantity over quality when it comes to certain brands. Um, like consistent sellers. Athleta is one that, you know, four or five years ago, I could almost always sell it at the lowest around like 15, like if I absolutely had to because I was sitting on it, but I could always move it if it came down to it. And I'm getting to that point now where it is, it is hard to move certain pieces. So I have left so much Athleta behind. You guys would be so proud of me. Why would you guys be proud of me? I really don't know. I just, in my head, you guys would be proud of me. But this piece is a nice, like it reminds me of like a golfing polo. Um, I think someone will want this piece. I'll list this around 18. Um, this is a Patagonia sweater that is missing the size and, you know, material label, whatever, whatever is back there at the back of the neck, but it's Patagonia. So, I mean, come on, I'm guessing this is just a woman's small, but I'll measure it, uh, around $28 for that. This is Wiley Coyote Looney Tunes vintage 1990s pullover sweater. Um, I'm not going to do anything special with it. Sometimes when I find these black sweaters, I will do a little bit of like bleach work on them. But half the time I just, I destroy them doing that. So I'm not going to mess with this one. Probably going to list it around 30. Um, I found this Elizabeth and James button up. Um, Elizabeth and James is another good brand to pick up. Even their, you know, simple pieces seem to get quite a bit of attention for me on Poshmark. I've been finding so much Burberry men's. I mean, knock on wood, but I'm I'm here for it. This is this doesn't have any of the you know it doesn't even have the logo on it unfortunately, but it can still sell it around you know 28. This is a Vince chunky olive green short sleeve sweater cardigan. Probably put 25 dollars on this. Vince is something that has gone down in resale value for me. These are cool Astro Jamas, you guys. <laughs> Hold on a second here. I said I wasn't going to make this long, but Astro Jamas, are you kidding me? And they're cool because they're like, it's really nothing. Like, it's just, it's just a jumper, like a, a jumpsuit. Nothing crazy cool, but the, I mean, this is like, you know, 1960s mod, totally mod. Um, I think just calling them Astro Jamas will get them sold, to be honest. I don't know. I'm going to look those up, but I'm not expecting too much. They're pretty basic. I found these seven for all mankind. Kind of hard to see that label. These are like wax jeans. So these suckers, I don't know how people get these off. But anyway, um, I, I've been trying that. I don't usually pick up seven for all mankind unless it's a certain style, but these are newer and I actually really like these, uh, this wax coating that it feels like it's not actually wax. You guys know what I mean. Okay. So here's another cull piece. Maybe this will show, maybe now I can show you guys. Yeah. Usually if it's missing the pull tab, it has this somewhere near the back, that little shield looking emblem. Cull pants. I'll probably list these around 24. I haven't showed you guys pants in a while. These are Eileen Fisher pants, nothing special, um, but they're in nice clean condition. I think I'll list these around 25. These are Lululemon. There's your little logo. Lululemon leggings. Why'd that take so long to get out? Um, usually I put those around 18 to 20. I found Armani Exchange shorts. AX Armani Exchange. These are from the bins. Probably list these around 20. Uh, what do we have here? REI. REI pants. 
also solid seller around twenty dollars nothing too special just regular hiking pants pill girl in the letterpress um these are skinny and you guys know like you know skinny jeans they're not selling the way they used to flare boot cut you know that's straight straight is definitely coming full force into the trend world um skinny jeans are kind of losing it but people still buy skinny jeans so i found a lot of i found like a plethora of adriana goldschmidt skinny jeans that were the same size and i'm guessing from the same closet as the person who donated these but i passed on all of them but pilcro is i'm just faithful to the brand and it sells well for me these are oh just north face yeah these are just north face hiking capris probably put 18 on these um what do we have oh seven for all mankind i don't remember picking these up these are also these are like a fake leather um these are kind of waxy too i don't remember picking these up guys this is weird i feel like i'm in an alternate universe i mean cool though i'll probably list them around 18 <laughs> this is a prana skirt um this is like a denim canvas or denim i'd call this i'd call this denim a nice denim colored skirt um, and then I'll probably put 18 on this. And then my last thing to show you guys, Jamie Sadak, which, or Sadak, I showed you guys one of their coats. Um, it's like a designer or luxury. I don't want to say luxury designer golf wear brand, um, that I'd heard about before I feel like, but I don't know. All of a sudden I found two of their pieces randomly. So, and the comps look pretty good. Um, I'll probably list these around $27, but yeah, so there's the little thing at the back. Jamie Sadak, definitely something to keep your eye out for. Um, I still haven't sold the first piece, but I've also only had it listed for like a week. So, hey guys, so if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful or at least entertaining. Um, as always, I will leave a link down below in the description to my Instagram, honey.rags. And from there, you can go check out my website, go check out my Facebook page, yada, yada. As always, thank you so much for watching. Happy selling, happy thrifting, and stay safe.